So here I was tasked with making 3D printable RG Nano rear shell for larger batteries. And after modeling this up, I kind of thought it would be a shame to lose that nice anodized metal uh, aluminum shell. So instead, came up with this, just the extension. So it's less stuff to print, less stuff to clean up, and we get to save that nice shell. Um, we transplant the speaker from here, just press it right into the new opening there. Screws, you just need longer screws and the extra length equal to the extension length. Um, even the lanyard here is, is supported still, so you can still use that. Normally I'm not a lanyard guy, but uh, this is so tiny that kind of makes sense, I, I guess. Um, I've got acetone post-processing with ASA material in mind for this. Um, I have it split so I can print um, nice on the bed, nice on the bed. Uh, I have, I am testing it uh, with a resin printer right now as one, one piece, but I try to avoid resin when I can because I just, I'm not a big fan of resin, um, at least not yet. So anyway, this uh, is what it looks like, very small. ASA and uh, it only takes 30 minutes. I haven't optimized this for speed. I don't really care much about speed whenever I print. Um, I, I print slow, I'm like an old man. I print slow because uh, it drastically reduces my failure rate and also ups the quality quite a lot. So um, I'm all about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at what it is uh, to, to post-process this.
haven't really looked at this project in, in a bit, but I remember at the beginning, there was a few things that I was kind of happy about. Um, I didn't have it in hand, the, the RG Nano, whenever I started. So I grabbed some image, uh, images from online and just kind of modeled that, just plugged in the right numbers later on. Um, so I had some simple sketches. One of the cool things is here at the beginning, so I got it blocked in. Then I had to make a um, the ribs. And to do that, I made a copy of a rib tool body. And I shelled the, uh, the back. And this shell is equal to the rib uh, thickness, how much they're indented. And I did a Boolean, I did a cut. So I cut the rib tool body. So this fits perfectly inside there. And then this, this is the rib. This is the center rib. Did a thick extrude. And whenever I extruded that, I cut only uh, the back. This thing, th this was the cool, one of the cool parts because when I think like a year ago, what I would have done, like what mess I would have made to try to make this happen. I would add probably a sketch, like a weird sketch and then try to, uh, I don't know, sweep it around or something and just, uh, it would, it would have been ugly. So I was happy about this. And then the next step is to pattern it out, which feels great. It feels great to actually, it's like being able to actually use a hammer as a hammer for a change instead of just making up some ridiculous version of a hammer and trying to <laughs> anyway there's that um so yeah so then i just kind of continued on uh, and the way that i attacked this was i wanted to make it exactly uh equal to the the back as it was even including cnc uh, unnecessary cnc things you know like these little fillets here probably don't need those these uh mouse ears we don't need those in here really but i wanted to copy it so it looked kind of kind of right all the way to the point here where we get to the uh this is the other part that's i think is kind of cool actually i i did realize i haven't test tested it so i'm going to test it right now so here i just took all these faces these are all flat planar faces all around and i extended them out by um a value in this case it's five millimeters uh so doubling up basically doubling up the width of the battery and that is a parameter that can be adjusted so you can just adjust it to whatever if you have a if you want to go eight or ten whatever so but i i haven't tested that actually in a long time i'm gonna go all the way to the end here towards the end we get some spaghetti stuff going on where it's just like tolerances and little tweaks and stuff as i uh, printed and needed to fit things and add like a little retaining lip there stuff like that so I don't even know. I need to come back here maybe sometime and look to clean it up. Who knows? Uh, but this is the thing that I didn't check. I actually should have checked it out. So of course it's going to work. I wouldn't make any, any mistakes, I'm sure. Let's just go 10. So this wall should jump up. It should be double. Come on. Come on, Fusion. And it worked. <laughs> I mean, of course, <laughs> of course it worked. Yeah, everything is fine. Everything I do works. So, so that's pretty good. Yeah, so you can just adjust that, obviously. Simple to do that. And um, I guess that, that's about it for this. Let's go uh, put it together and see, uh, see what it looks like. <laughs> of course it works. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da Ba-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da